Hello again, welcome back to the series, in the last part, we covered about building the map for our games. If you made it so far, congrats, you just finished one of the hardest parts, because this part is the hardest out of all. I'll tell you why later. Before I get started, I just want to update some things on part 1. First, the website that I used to make satellite images has no longer been supported for aerial images as of January of this year. So, for that reason, you'll have to find another source to get the images. Second, the title I showed here, for some reason, the word rail fanning was moderated, so just put rail fan instead and it should work. Anyways, without wasting more time, let's get started. After you finish the map, now it's time to do the main thing when it comes to making a rail fanning game, you already know it's trains. So, let's make one. Most of you know you need a locomotive to lead a train, but here's where I explain about why this will be the hardest part. Let's try searching up a locomotive, for example, I'm going to put GP38-2 into the search bar. As you can see, as I'm scrolling down, some of the models are leaked, or considered to be outdated. So, it's best that you avoid them. So instead of using the toolbox, try start building the locomotives in scratch, you'll need to practice for a while until you get good at it. For example, here's a U18B that I've made a few weeks ago. One option is that you can ask your friend, or an experienced person to build it for you. Some will require to be paid from you, whether it's Robux or any other kind of payment they can accept, but, one problem is, that some people can scam you by pretending to be one of them, which isn't worth of your time. So it's best to start making it on your own. This process will also apply to rolling stock as well. Continuing on, here is a time lapse of me painting a GP40-2 into USSC scheme. Here's the finished product. After you've finished the locomotive, now start making the rolling stock. Currently, I'm showing you some examples that I built in the last few months. Once you've made your locomotives and rolling stock, paste them into your game. Now it's time to set up the trains. Before doing that, first, you need to install this script, this will allow it to spawn trains in the game. Now, set up the train like usual, in this case, I'll make a manifest.
Once you've finished, insert the script into the game. You can also read instructions in the disabled script, but I'm just going to tell you how to do it here. Double click the script, and I'm going to tell you what you need to know about this. In the first line, this tells you what models will spawn on the game. Moving to countdown time, it basically tells you how many seconds until a train can spawn. Time length tells the script how long until it starts the countdown again. This will also delete the spawn train. For line 13, this tells where the models are in. For this case, the trains will be in server storage, so I'm going to put it in. Now, let's make the train move. There actually are multiple ways to make the train move, but we're going to do a method that's mostly common on most Roblox rail fanning games. For this step, we'll add a weld script. Then, we'll add a conveyor. Let's set the velocity at a reasonable amount, which is 50. Change the transparency of the conveyor to 1. Now group the weld script, conveyor, and all of the train into one model. Make sure to name it specific, I'll name it USSC Manifest T1. I'm also going to put that in the script. Now move the train into whatever you can store it, for me, it's server storage. Now let's test it to make sure if it works. Publish the game first, then run the game on Roblox. As you can see, the script is working and showing the countdown. It's now spawning the train. There we go, the script spawns the train, and it's moving too. I think we can conclude part 3 of this series, now you know how to add trains, we'll be looking into the next tricky part. In part 4, we'll be doing, you've guessed it, railroad crossings. I hope you guys enjoy this part, the reason why it took a while is because of school and exams this month. But with school ending soon, I'll be able to make videos faster for you guys. Anyways, make sure to like, subscribe and turn on notifications to see when will my next video will come out. Anyways, have a safe day, and take care.